Hi, this is Akila Grant, and in this video, we'll show you how we use Smart Tiles to create our kitchen backsplash, and we love it. It's so easy to do. I hope that you like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. And remember, you can DIY too. This is how the backsplash looked before Smart Tiles. We were pleased with how easy it was to achieve this look. We used the Smart Tiles Finishing Edger and other tools to help us with this easy project. Before beginning, you want to use a powerful degreaser to make sure your surface is nice and clean before you begin putting your tiles on top. Since our kitchen did not have a corner, we started at the end of the countertop. We used the leveler to draw across the wall to keep the line straight. Then we installed the finishing edge to begin our tile. Our leveler was used to help us keep all of our lines straight as we begin. We used an old school paper cutter to cut the overlap tabs for our starter tile. It was easier for us to use when cutting a full page than using a box cutter. We carefully peeled the backing and lined up our first tile with the finishing edge. We slowly peeled the back off of the tile and installed it, keeping it aligned with our guideline. These peel and stick tiles were very easy to work with, so if you made a mistake, you could pull it up a little bit and then adjust. You install the second sheet by placing the overlap tabs on the first one. You can gently use your finger to press them in place with the pattern. You don't want to press too hard until the very end. It's easy to cut around outlets. Just outline a shape and use a box cutter. Once the shape has been cut, it easily installs around the outlet. This worked out well for us. We did not have to learn how to place tile and grout around them. So using the smart tiles, even in a small, tiny place like this, was easy to cut out and place and follow the same pattern. This is the area behind the stove, and because we used the straight edge, everything lined up. We now had to tackle the other side of the kitchen. This was more challenging because we decided to tile up our window opening and around the sink. This was something that didn't follow the same pattern that the tiles normally went with, with the overlapping tabs, but we found a way to make it work. And with these easy smart tiles, the pattern still looked very nice. Because of the tile pattern that we used, it was easy to camouflage the lines. Now it was time to add the finishing touches. This project produced many spare pieces of tile. 
So we decided to cover a coaster for our plant. We used a gray caulk to seal between the tile and the countertop. We used water and our finger to smooth the caulk line. All in all, this was a fairly easy DIY project that took a lot of patience but yielded beautiful results. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like these, please, please subscribe, subscribe to, to our, our channel. channel.